Hi guys, let's see how to use the PacePath script. So here I have a shape layer with this letter P and I have another shape layer which is empty. It has a path with nothing inside. So normally if I just wanted to copy a shape path to another layer, I would just hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V and it ends up somewhere else. This also happens if you copy and paste masks. So that's why PastePath exists. With PastePath, you can select a path, click Copy Path, select another path, and click Paste Shape. It's as easy as that. You can also just select which path you want from the composition window, choose Copy, select another path, and Paste Shape. Now, if you don't have a path selected, but you do have a shape layer selected, clicking paste shape will create a new shape group with a path inside. But if you have nothing selected, paste shape will create a new shape layer with a new shape group with a new path without any weird transformations. So whatever transformations you had have now been baked in to the path. Now, the only transformation that is not supported is the skew, so keep that in mind if you use it. Now, we also have paste as mask, so if I get a new solid layer, I select a path and I copy it, I can then select the solid layer and click paste mask. Let's undo. If I alt click the paste mask button, this will automatically set the mask to subtract. Now let's say the path you want to copy has keyframes, no problem at all. Just select the path property or specific keyframes you want to copy. Let's select an all for this example. Click copy path and let's try pasting it as a mask path in this layer. I will also hold the alt button so the mask becomes subtract. And as you can see, all the keyframes are transferred intact. You could of course paste it as a shape path. So just select the shape path and click paste shape. Now by default, the keyframes are pasted at exactly the same time as the original ones. If you want to paste them somewhere else, just move to that time, hold control and click paste. 